So I don't want to spend too much time talking about this person. Uh, just another miserable fuck who just wants to sap all the fucking fun out of everything. So Avatar. Uh, the movie that has blue people who clearly do not exist, who, what, have sex with their hair. Um, this person says, at some point, we got to talk about the cultural appropriation of Avatar and white actors are cuz playing a, uh, as POC. POC? They're blue. You show me in the world where there's blue people. And show me what exactly they're culture, uh, culturally appropriating in this movie by having white actors portray blue people. Now, you could say, oh, with the dreads and everything, you know, the, the braids or dreads or whatever. But guess what? Black people, indigenous people were not. Look at Vikings. They were white. They had dreads. They had braided hair. Okay, so black people, indigenous people, you were not the first fucking people to think of fucking uh, braiding your hair. You know, that's been done all over the fucking world. So that, that you can't say braided hair or dreads or whatever cult, uh, cultural appropriation because it's not. So many cultures have done it. Again, look at Vikings, the Norse Vikings. Whiter, no, sour cream white. Long braided hair. So don't even start with that shit. Um... You could say maybe some of the clothes they're wearing. But again, this is their, this isn't a real, these aren't real people. Why are you getting offended over people who aren't even fucking real? These are actors who are playing blue people. I mean, they, they're humanoid in appearance for the most part, but their ears are a lot higher up. They're longer pointed ears. Uh, their fingers are different. Like, again, like they have sex with their fucking hair or some shit like that, if I remember. I, so what is this woman? Like, it's a mess and not so necessary and no amount of visual effects and CGI is going to erase that. Bad lace fronts, dry synthetic braids. Jesus, fix it. Wasn't there some outcry about the first movie about the casting P, uh, about casting POC in the alien roles? <laughs> some outcry, yeah. Petition going around then to cast actual aliens in those in those alien roles. Exactly. These people are so fucking miserable in their miserable fucking lives that this is how they get off. They wake up in the morning wanting to be offended. Why can they not just let people enjoy their movie? Look. I'm half Italian. If you came out and made a fucking movie doing every fucking stereotype of Italians, I wouldn't care as long as I'm entertained. Fucking, uh, my mom's side, uh, she had, uh, we had a great aunt and uncle in fucking Auschwitz, uh, during World War II. If they were making some fucking Auschwitz joke, I'm not gonna sit there and be fucking crying and offended about it. Like, life is too short to be offended about this stuff. And these people just constantly look for shit to be offended. And when I say everything is racist and shit like that, I mean, really, look at all the stuff that's come out lately that people say is racist. So we've got movies, all the, the media that where you have actors portraying something else, right? Then you have shit like milk. Milk. Why? Because a lot of black people are lactose intolerant. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, because a lot of black people apparently have peanut allergies. Camping is apparently racist. Hiking is racist, because, oh, not many black people go hiking. Well, that's not my fucking problem if they don't go hiking. If it's in their area and it's there, it's not my problem that they're not fucking utilizing it. Uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, solar eclipses, nat uh, national, you know, just... Uh, natural occurring disasters like oh god that hurricane's right it, it wiped out everything it wiped out the the, the the black only area it's like okay so you're saying that a fucking tornado spawned and it was like i'm gonna wipe out some black people you know it's just cultural appropriation and it's like the actual cultures that are supposed to be that are, that are apparently being appropriated don't fucking care. 
it's always everyone else. It's always everyone else. And there might be a few. I'm sure there are some loud mouth fucking, oh, you're appropriating your culture. Okay, well, that's what we do in America. We, we acknowledge other people's cultures. If you didn't want your culture appropriated, you shouldn't have come here. Because that's how we acknowledge and show respect to your culture. Um, but I just, why are these people so fucking miserable? Why can't we just go to a movie and enjoy it without having miserable fucking cunts like this? Uh, uh, it's cultural appropriation. And though she didn't say it here, if you support cultural appropriation, then you support racism. You know, it. why would you want to live like this where everything is, everything offends you? This, this fucking generation, not just generation, but the people, even older people like her, they're so so fucking sensitive about everything now being sensitive is fine but they are so fucking sensitive to the point that everything offends them i'm surprised she even come these people even come on twitter anymore you know saying that elon musk is like literally hitler he went from orange man bad being literally hitler to to space man bad being literally hitler you know how do these people even go throughout their day you know, imagine they're walking down the street. Imagine all the shit they see on, on a daily basis that just fucking triggers them because they're so fucking thin-skinned. So fucking thin-skinned, so fucking weak-willed that shit like this, people who don't actually exist are, are causing them distress uh, over cultural appropriation. Like, seriously... Cry me a river, build a bridge, and get the fuck over it. These people are insane. If you know a person, like, these are the same people who will sit there at, like, Christmas or Thanksgiving and tell you about how wrong Thanksgiving is. It's like, then don't show up, you fucking cunt. Don't fucking show up. You're going to sit here and preach to us about how cultural appropriation and how, oh, we killed the, the Native Americans here. If you don't want it and if you don't like it, go the fuck home. They just got to make everyone as miserable as them. Well, you know, Christmas is like, I don't want to fucking hear it. Don't want to fucking hear it. If you're going to get the fuck out, you're not going to ruin my fucking holiday for me. But yeah, so she's complaining about cultural appropriation in a movie about blue people. In, about aliens. Has anyone talked to them about these blue aliens and seen what they thought? Oh, that's right. They don't exist. Miserable fucking twats these people are. But this is why we can't have good things. Everything's racist. Everything's homophobic. Everything is sexist. Everything is cultural appropriation. Everything's offensive. Everything in the world. Everything. Always. Ever. From now, from the end, till now, to the end of fucking time. Everything. Don't go out. Don't do anything. Don't go online. Don't watch TV. Just don't go outside. Just stay in the room, turn the fucking lights off, and sit in the corner by yourself. Don't do anything, because whatever you do, it's going to be fucking racist, and it's going to fucking uh, offend some, some fucking snowflake pussy who, who, who desires to be offended 24 hours of the day. So just, just turn your fucking lights off, go on your bed, and just sit down in the fucking corner or something, because every, no matter what you do, it's going to offend someone. Have a great day, everyone.